ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Dots. Let's get this show on the road. Or in the water. Booster boxes help you with a boost. Your first booster box. So if you pay money or if you watch ads, you get these booster boxes. And they help you. So now we can just... Well, you might as well just use it. Now you also get daily rewards. So for 10 minutes, I get unlimited erasers. Well, not unlimited, but for 10 minutes, one per level, I get a free eraser. All right, we're just gonna do that. Damn near cleared the whole board in one move. So I think what we got to do is this and then that. Now that is how you beat two dots. You just get assistance. That's the one thing I don't like about this game. They bombard you like this. I don't care about the events. I'll get to them when I want to. Let me play the game. All right. So, if you remember from last time, we just got to spread the water. You get rid of the dots adjacent to the water, and it spreads. Hmm, I can make a square though, but will that help? Yes, it will. Squares are very OP. There are some situations where it's hard to make a square, but in most circumstances, you can make a square. You can circle the square, but you can't square the circle. You'll always come back, back to me. Back to us. Hmm, can I make another one? It looks like a can. Oh, a, a th oh, yeah, there it is. Now, before I do that, I gotta do this and then make a square. Now, later levels, you'll get less moves, so you gotta be real careful. Well, we've got unlimited erasers, might as well use it. So, how are all of you guys doing today? You guys having a good day? I hope so. Hope everyone is happy and healthy. And hydrated, because we got a lot of water here. Well, don't drink this water, it's salt. Actually, this could be Goo Lagoon. So you know Goo Lagoon, how there's water within the water? Well, that's actually real life. So in some parts of the ocean, there's pockets of water that are really salty, and they're even saltier than the, than the water around it. So it's more dense than the surrounding water. So basically, it creates a pool of water in the water. So maybe this water we're spreading is really salty. My point is, don't drink the water. So we're going to move right along. We are now in first grade. So first grade, I had Mrs. K. But I did not only have Mrs. K, I also had a second teacher. Because of my condition, I had two teachers in most classes. Now the second teacher, she was kind of like a educational aide. She was Mrs. R from the land of Texas. 
Now, the thing about Mrs. K, she really did not care about her job that much. She was one of those teachers, she kind of did the bare minimum. And if you did something wrong, she would go off on you. For example, we were coloring some picture, I don't know what it was. And I think I used the wrong color or something. And she's like, you weren't supposed to do that, Matt. I'm like, okay, sorry. Mrs. R, on the other hand, was very, very good. If I was, basically, if I was struggling with something, she would explain it. So it's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one within the classroom. So if I was falling behind, if something didn't make any sense, she would clarify for me, which was very good. And also for tests, I got time and a half. So if you got 60 minutes, I would get that plus 30. Because I was a slow test taker. I was a turtle. Hmm. I'm running out of moves. And I already used my eraser. There's really nothing to connect. Oh, there it is. Well, this is a sticky situation, ain't it? All right, well, before we go wasting all our moves, let's, let's look at this. The real pain in the butt's gonna be these two dots right here. All right, just jostle. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try to stir the pot, bring stuff down, see if we can descend the water. Now, the one thing I liked about Mrs. K's class is she had a really cool timer. It was this tower look, they looked like a lighthouse. The bottom of it was green, the middle was yellow, and the top was red. And it would light up, it would make noise. And when you're running out of time, it would go to yellow. And if you were really out of time, it would go to red. And I don't know why, but I was very infatuated by it. Like, maybe because it was colorful, maybe because it made noise, I really don't know. But I really liked that thing. Also, first grade, started making connections, started making some friends, as you do. Now, a few people in first grade I still talk to to this day. Which is crazy that we stayed together for that long. Oh, God, we're, we're, we're getting down to the nitty freaking gritty here. God dang it. If only I had an eraser, we could get rid of this purple dot and make a square. Well, no, even that wouldn't help because there's no, there's no blue ones next to the water. Well, son, I think we failed. I think we done did it up. Nope, not this time. Out of moves. Wait, do I have enough gold? No, of course not. Yeah, I'm not watching an ad, even if it means I win. Well, I guess we'll use a booster box. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be smart. So I'm going to save those sparkly ones. Oops, and now we got some by the water. All right, don't let me stop squaring. Just keep squaring. Can't stop the square. Well, you can, but please don't. I need the square.
All right, just bring the water, just zigzag it. I will admit this does look really cool, the way the water moves. See, all you had to do was just get help. Success. Everybody's hydrated with water that they can't drink. Ain't that funny? About 75% of the water on this earth, and we can't drink it. What kind of kind of stuff is that? All right, level 19, what you got? Uh, the game froze. What the, really, really, really now, really now? Come on. Well, the game done froze. Hold on. That was absolutely ridiculous. All right, close your eyes, there's gonna be some spoilers. Yes, I don't care. Now we gotta go all the way down, but you shouldn't know about that because your eyes should be closed. Just ignore all of this. This is gonna be much, much later, depending on how good I do with the game. Yeah, all this, you ain't seen nothing. All right. No, no, no. There we go. Well, sorry about that nonsense. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. All right, spread the water. Now in grade school, I actually I had it in middle school as well, but one thing I kind of miss is recess. Basically, after you were done with your lunch, you got about 10, 15 minutes, I'm not sure how long it was, but you got a little playground, you got a blacktop for kickball. You just got to go outside for a little bit, and if it was raining or something, you had indoor recess, and they had a bunch of board games, and obviously you could just talk to your friends. That was it. That was where it was at. But then high school, they're like, eh, we're going to get rid of that. Oh, no more Unlimited Eraser. No more Ed Sheeran. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing to spread the water with. All the dots are different colors. So we're going to have to get creative. Or we could just win. You know, if you're ever running out of options, just win. Now, one thing we would do is when we would get out for recess, when we would exit the cafeteria, we would all just run to the playground and then go our separate ways. Now, even back then, I was not the most athletic person in the world. And the only reason I ran is because everybody else ran. And it wasn't even that far. It was like, 300 feet, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. By the time I got to that playground, I was ready to die. But I didn't want to be the only one not running, so I just did it anyway. So every day for recess, I'm like, oh shit, here we go again. Time, time to die. Now, I don't know what happened, but like I said, Mrs. K, you know, her mood swung on a dime. She yelled at everybody. She was kind of mean. 
Now, I don't know what happened. It was literally like the Grinch. After we got back from Christmas break, it was like she was a whole new person. She was nice. She was helpful. I remember one time I had trouble with something. Mrs. R was helping me, but also Mrs. K was like, oh, hey, I know you're struggling. Here, you. if you do it this way, it works easier. It was like on Christmas Day, her heart grew three sizes. Not sure what happened. Maybe she got some. Maybe she got a promotion. But whatever the case, she became a lot better of a teacher. And at the end of the year of first grade, she gave me the timer. And just about every day I used that thing until it broke two years later. So Mrs. K is kind of in a weird spot with all my teachers. She started out real bad, and then she had one of the biggest turnarounds ever. So I'm kind of split. My best guess, and unfortunately this is the case most of the time, that there was probably something going on outside of work, like at home. Not that it makes it okay to take it out on the students, especially first graders, but that's most likely what was going on. You know, all that steam, all that anger's got to come out somewhere. Now, my favorite thing that we did in first grade was we had a caterpillar project. So we had these caterpillars that came in these little plastic cups with sand in them. And the cat pose would eat the sand, or whatever it was. And we kept them until they turned into cocoons. And then eventually they became butterflies. So when they became butterflies, we kept them for a couple days. And then we released them into the wild. So our class just sent an army of butterflies into the earth. There was probably several butterflies already, but we just introduced more. And there were monarchs. The orange and black ones. I feel like when people say butterfly, they automatically think of monarch. Like, that's the first thing they think of. And I don't blame them, but I think of those yellow and blue ones. Now, in Mrs. K's class, when it came to discipline, we had these cards. If you got in trouble once, uh, you flip your card to yellow, because everyone's card was green at the start of the day. So you flip your card to yellow if you got in trouble, and you flip your card to red if you got in trouble again. And if you got in trouble again, then you just went to the principal. Our principal, Mrs. D, definitely saw her a few times, for not good reasons. But she was a good principal. She wasn't like mean. She would be like, hey, you did this. You need to not do this. You need to work. You need to be a better student. Like she wouldn't just yell at you. She would actually try to put you in the right direction. Try to explain why what you did was not good. <coughs> and then try to put you on the straight and narrow. Ah, here we are once again. Drought. So if you lose a life in two dots, you gotta wait 20 minutes to get that life back. So if you die five times quickly, you gotta wait unless you want to pay. I can tell just by looking at this level, we're starting with a, a little piddly puddle of water. That's going to suck. I almost should have watched a video for that booster box. I almost should have done it. You know what? We don't need it. We can do this on our own. Uh, there's no way to spread the water because there's no matches by it. It's okay. We'll just have to make some. See, the journey of a thousand steps starts with a single step. The journey of a thousand gallons of water starts with just one drop. 
It's all about progress and patience and passion and persistence and never giving up, no matter what stands in your way. Oh boy. Once again, there's no matches by the water, we can't spread it, so we're gonna have to waste some moves, give her some dots, hopefully line some colors up here. The question, you, you wanna try to avoid doing that at the top, because you can't really change anything, you wanna go towards the bottom, so that the top ones fall down. Where to start? Oh, didn't realize I could do that. Now where to start? That is the question. We've already answered whether to be or not to be, it's to be. Now we need to answer what the hell do we do here? Oh, I see it. See, sometimes you just gotta think. You just gotta use your noodle. See, look, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting hydrated. Again, salt, don't drink it. This is super salty, you really don't drink it. Yeah, for every cup of salt water you drink, it takes your body about a cup and a half to process the salt out. All right, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Okay, this whole bottom right area is just a jumbled mess. We got to straighten that out now. Oh god, this all of this is a jumbled mess. But especially the bottom right. Now if you run out of moves, there's no more moves, it'll just shuffle. Which I'm kind of hoping happens, because it'll help us. It's not looking too good. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking like crap. Because it is crap. Your mama always said life was like a box of crap. You're always going to get crap. I'm really stumped. I don't know what we're going to do here. Maybe I can hope for a mulligan here. Green. Green. I'll take it. One move. What can we do? That. Wah, wah, wah. You know what? Fine. You win. Sorry, guys. There's an ad. sponsor I don't care about that game I want to play it every day of my life I just want the box Ooh now that's the best power up when all the dots are the same color now how do we go about this I know I technically cheated but we just beat a, a level of two dots in one move. That has got to be some kind of record. What's nine plus ten? Twenty one. You stupid. Here's a new power up. You, you realize I've played this game before, right? You, you offered me unlimited of these things for 10 minutes. You know. 
You know that I know what these are. You know that I know. And I know that you know that I know. And you just want to get me to buy more. Well, that's not how this works. Your fancy advertising campaign's not going to work on me, bub. Anyway. There's so many dots on the screen, I think it's giving me a migraine. Oh boy. I want to erase this and hope a red one drops down, but that's too much luck, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, but what I can do is that. Squares, the biggest weapon you'll ever see. The atom bomb, the Uzi, the grappling hook. It's just nothing compares to it. See, look at that. Look at all that water. Look at all that salty, deadly water. I've gone mad with power. The square is the ultimate power. The square. The square. The square. Check, check, and mate. Done. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. All right, this seems pretty standard. So we're gonna have to move it up, down, and then to the right. Sorry, Beyonce, we gotta go to the right. We're not playing your song this time. So close, it's almost adjacent, but not quite. If only I had my squares, I'd be unstoppable. There we go, gotta get that, just gotta get that foot in the door so we can flood this place. Keep on flooding, keep on flooding, keep on flooding, flooding, flooding. What do we do? We flood, flood. Now, unfortunately, in our caterpillar butterfly experiment, we did lose a caterpillar because one of the kids dropped their cup when they were still caterpillars. And then it un unfortunately got stepped on. So first the cup was dropped and it fell like five feet. And even if it survived, it'd be traumatized. And some girl, Melissa, accidentally stepped on it. Now, Melissa, she was a girl in first grade, always getting in trouble. Always arguing, always causing a ruckus. Just not falling in line like she should. And almost every single day, her card was red. Threw a crayon at me one time. It was a red crayon. I guess what her card was, it was red. It looks like I can make a square here, but wait. Ooh, got an idea. My only regret is this did not happen sooner. 
Come on, we can make another square, can't we? Aw, oh, you're just gonna block me like that? You can't do that to me. That one time I got my card to red, I forgot what I did to go to yellow, but to get to red, uh, I was mad that I got to yellow, so I threw a tantrum, and then I got my card to red. And at the end of the day, we get these reports that you send to your parents, like, oh, like, were you good, were you bad? Well, I tried to lie. I was like, oh, I, I was good. And I got caught. So on the report, I just lied. I was like, oh, yeah, my car is green. I was good all day. Well, they, they found that out real quick. And you know what else? I'm out of moves. And you know what else else? I think the piece is getting cold. Okay, we're going to try one more time, and then we're going to call it a day. Should have watched an ad for a booster box. Oh, wait, what's this? Hmm, no, I can't make a square, because if I, if I get rid of these two dots, it's going to drop down two, and it won't be a square. Hmm, but this will make a square, though. Here we go. Or not. All these pesky single blue dots get in the way of my green dots making a square. Go dot yourself. Man, I was hoping that would do something. All right, good, good. We're almost there. We got plenty of moves left, so we don't need to panic. He said not to panic. All right, now we just need some red dots. We got 13 moves to do so. Oh, we uh, got a bit of a problem here. All the red dots are single. They got no partners. We need to get these guys on Tinder. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. It can't end like this. It cannot end like this. It, it can't. I refuse. I won't let it. Crut, no, 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 no. We're not losing five dots away. We sure as hell ain't losing three dots away. It's, it's not happening. I swear to Christ, if you do this to me, you, be <laughs> you better not. You better not do it. We are three dots away. Okay, so we got three moves. And we got three dots. Can we do it? I'm trying to get rid of a lot of dots. So we get a lot of new dots. All right, this big stretch of blue gone. No, come on. Sh surely you wouldn't. Surely you wouldn't. One dot. One dot. One dot. Yeah, I think we better end it before I lose it big time. So, with that being said,
Thank you for watching Two Dots. I hope you enjoy. And everybody, just do me a favor. Have a great day.